Greetings curious viewers, Tool Tips with Tommy here today. Gonna do a little video for you. Uh, just gonna talk about hammer drills and rotary hammers and the difference between the two and kind of talk about a little bit about uh, applications for them. So um, just not a lot of confusion, but just some people out there maybe don't know the difference between a hammer drill and a rotary hammer. So I just wanna talk about it. I have some cool props, so I just wanted to use my props get some information out there help you guys out help you the end users out or maybe if you're shopping for a, a hammer drill or a rotary hammer uh, this might answer some questions I could do a really long video and talk about drill drivers and uh, impact wrenches and impact drivers and all that but I'm just gonna focus mostly on hammer drills and rotary hammers um, very versatile tools especially the hammer drill so um, let's dive right in first uh, first you should know that a hammer drill uses a mechanical action. So these two little dogs right here, hopefully those are coming into focus. I can't see the screen. So uh, these dogs are what create the hammer action in a hammer drill. So it's what they call a mechanical action, right? Just these two little dogs ride against each other and bump up and down. They move maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So it just creates like a vibration. Um, they also fall down real easy but anyway this is what they sound like let me put this in hammer mode see hear that vibration that's those two little dogs drive running up against each other like two poker chips bumping off of each other um right so you can of course you can take that turn that off and then it's regular half inch drill or regular drill um, but that hammer action is great for doing those softer materials center block brick stucco mortar things like that not necessarily concrete, but if you had a couple of holes to do in concrete, then you definitely could do it. You know, I'm not going to say that you can't do it. So um, you can use them for concrete, but you're going to wear them out. I mean, imagine those two chip, these two little dogs, they call them, r riding up against each other and you're pushing really hard in concrete and you hit that solid rock, that aggregate in there, uh, and you got to try to get through it. You're pushing down. So what's going to happen is you're going to smooth out these bumps. Uh, it's not going to have that vibration, that tappy tap tap motion. Uh, it'll still spin, you know, it'll still be a good half inch drill. It's just not going to have that tappy tap tap action. So you're not going to have that, uh, that ability to tr drill into, you know, those materials. So if you drill a lot of concrete, you want to get a rotary hammer. That's kind of the application differentiation there. Um, you know, if you're going to, you know, just qualify yourself, uh, if you do a lot of work in concrete and you drill mostly anchors um, in concrete, you definitely want a rotary hammer. Uh, if you want something versatile that'll drill into a lot of different materials, it'll do really good in wood, do really good in you know steel, do really good in cinder block, brick, stucco mortar, uh, and do a couple holes in concrete. Hammer drill is the way to go. In fact, I tell uh, you know my brothers and uh, anybody, my friends, that when they ask you know what kind of drill I should get. You know, around the house, the hammer drill is the way to go because you can do all those different applications. It's it's twice as versatile as like your standard drill drivers. I don't think I even have any drill drivers out here right now, but the drill driver does lacks that that hammering action, so you're you're not going to be as effective in those um, the cinder blocks and bricks and stuccos stuccos of the world. So, for a homeowner, a hammer drill is definitely a smart step up if you want something versatile that you can drill everything, the hammer drill is the way to go. So um, yeah, if you're in the market for a drill and you wanna get something versatile, get yourself a hammer drill. Just keep in mind that you're limited as far as concrete holes or, or you don't wanna drill all your holes in concrete or hundreds of holes in concrete. Maybe a couple dozen, no problem. But um, yeah, if you're a contractor and you're setting anchors all the time or you know, I don't know, putting seating in a movie theater and you got to drill 5,000 holes, half inch holes in concrete and set a bunch of tap cons or set a bunch of redhead, half inch redheads. Uh, hammer or rotary hammer is the way you want to go. You want to stick away, stay away from that, that hammer drill and you want to go to, um, that's the hammer drill bit actually is going to be a straight shank bit. You're going to want to go with an SDS plus rotary hammer. So the rotary hammer has what they call a tool holder, right? So it doesn't have a three jaw chuck. Three jaw chucks are what you find in a drill. So hammer drill. Rotary hammers have what they call a tool holder. So keep in mind when you're uh, using a hammer drill, that hole, that the, you know, the, the hold on the bit is tight and that whole chuck is vibrating. With a SDS Plus rotary hammer, you put the bit in, you stick it, twist it, stick it, the uh, bits 
the chuck stays where it is or the tool holder stays where it is, the bit is, does the moving, right? So a uh, rotary hammer is much easier on the end user. A hammer drill takes about 30 pounds of pressure on the back of it to get that function to work properly, uh, that hammering action. A rotary hammer takes about five pounds of pressure. So you just kind of want to keep that bit engaged in your drilling material uh, and let the actual uh, hammer action do its job. And when I talk about hammer action, I talked about a mechanical action for a, a hammer drill. A rotary hammer has a pneumatic action, right? So there's no wearing parts. You don't have those two little bumps or all those little bumps that'll wear away. You have a piston and a cylinder or a sleeve. And what it does is creates a little air chamber in there, creates a little air pocket, which throws the striker forward. This actually is what is, this actually, this whole system is what's inside this tool. So this is what's inside here. And that striker is what actually is hitting the back of that bit. So this goes forward, creates an air pocket and throws the striker forward. The front of that striker hits the back of that bit. And that's what creates the hammering action in a rotary hammer. So no wearing parts, um, much better for those heavy, hard applications, much easier on an end user to use. So um, just the best alternative for drilling into concrete. So if, if uh, you qualify yourself and you think, and I drill 90% of my holes in concrete, get yourself a rotary hammer, do yourself a favor, get a rotary hammer, not a hammer drill. If you're a homeowner and you want something versatile, get yourself a hammer drill. That's kind of how I would put it. But uh, ham rotary hammers also, this is rated at one inch meaning the largest bit that we recommend or that Bosch recommends you put in it is one inch, right? So this is a three eighths. So this is optimum for that. But when they say one inch, they mean that's the largest they recommend. Could you do an inch and an eighth? Absolutely. Um, it's kind of the analogy I use would be like your car. So maybe your car will go 120 miles an hour, right? So think of this as going 120 miles an hour, rated 120. Uh, as opposed to one inch, right? If you went everywhere in that rotary hammer 120 miles an hour, you would burn it out really fast. So if you dr drilled all your holes with one, at one inch with this, you'd burn it out really fast. Optimum for that is about three eighths to five eighths. So most popular rotary hammer in the world is the Bulldog. Um, and the reason is 90% of the holes drilled in concrete are half inch and less. So uh, guys are just doing half inch holes, setting anchors, three eighths inch holes, setting anchors. That's it. So a very popular rotary hammer, very popular rating at one inch. Uh, that, this is the one the guys all use. In fact, this is my, my very first rotary hammer that I got, the Bulldog 11-224. It's, shoot, I don't want to age myself, so I'll just say it's very old. Uh, still works. You know, it's, it's over 20 years old and it still does the job. It still hammers, it still drills in the concrete. Uh, and it's probably drilled 10,000 holes. So, um, and it's still still going strong. Um, and that's because I didn't abuse it. I used it right. I didn't do, you know, inch and a quarter holes, inch and an eighth holes. I was doing anchors with it basically the whole time. So, um, rated at one inch. We also have, you know, rated at inch and an eighth, rated at inch and a quarter. And then you go to the bigger dogs, the SDS Max. So this is SDS Plus right there. This is SDS Max. You can see the similarities just size. So this is about three eighths. This is about five eighths. So uh, SDS plus for the small holes, SDS max for the big holes. And in fact, when I talk to guys about rotary hammers, I kind of say it's like a golf bag. You know, you can't get one rotary hammer. You know, it's, it's not like one rotary hammer rules them all. It's not like the Lord of the Rings here. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a golf bag. You need a putter and then you need the SDS max. You need the drivers. So, you know, golfers can go on a golf course and they can play the whole course with a putter, but they wouldn't be as effective um, as they would be if they had the whole bag full of clubs. So um, contractors should have a small rotary hammer, an SDS plus rotary hammer, as well as an SDS max rotary hammer. All right. So um, yeah. In fact, if a contractor showed up in my house and he only had a handful of tools, I'd probably tell him to get out because contractors should have every tool. You know, um, all the contractors I know, they have a truckload full of tools. They know how to use them all and they do use them all um, because every tool has its function. Every tool has uh, something they sh that they're good at that they that you would use them for. You know, your your recip saws are great for demolition, great for uh, tearing through stuff. Not really good for doing fine um, custom work, right? So that's more your, maybe your jig saws, but track saws, table saws, 
things like that are going to give you a, a much uh, more uh, precise uh, cut or you know do do the job much more precisely so uh, yeah so that's all hope you guys enjoyed the video hope this helps remember hammer drills have a mechanical action uh, great for versatility rotary hammer is great for doing uh, concrete work uh, if you do the majority of your work in concrete get yourself a rotary hammer because they use a pneumatic system and there's no wearing parts so much better for that kind of application got SDS plus SDS max there's the older version, the spline, but that's kind of being phased out. But, uh, yeah, that's all. Hope that helps. Take care. Peace. Late.